We'll guide you through how to make images move in CapCut. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, open up an existing project or go and create a new one and add a photo. So as you can see here, I've just got a video and then here I've got the photo. And what I want to do is have the photo sort of zooming in while I'm talking or the music is playing. So to go and do this, all you need to do is go and tap on the video in the timeline like so. And once you've done that, you'll see an outline in the video preview. So first of all, I just want to have no black bars anyway, so I'm just going to go and pinch on it like this to make it bigger. And as you can see, it's now that same size throughout the whole video. So keep it selected and go to the start of it. And choose the position of how you want the pitch to be. I've already positioned mine perfectly for me. And then what you want to do is tap on the add keyframe button. And that button is to the right of the play pause and it looks like a diamond with a plus. So press that there and you've now added one keyframe. You can see it's now appeared in the timeline. And then what you want to do is go and choose where you want the movement to go and then end. So for example, I now wanted to end here. So and what you want to do is choose the end point. So for example, I may want the end point to be just zoomed in like this. And because you already added a keyframe, now when you go and move the image, it should then automatically go and add another. As you can see, when you move it, it then goes and adds it. If it doesn't, just manually click it, but it should do. And then we'll go and play it back just like so. And as you can see, it's now zooming in. It's that simple, but it does go and stop there. So what I'm going to do is go and select it again and you can then go and see uh, the keyframes. And then what I want to do is have the photo finish where it was initially. So I'm going to go right to the end just here and then go and zoom back out like so. You should then automatically add a keyframe when you make the movement. But if it doesn't, you can always click on the add uh, keyframe button. But mine is currently minus as I already have one made automatically. And now when I go and play it back, as you can see, we've now gone and made the image move. 